Peace for Ukraine or you reign. These magicians have such power and it's so easy for them just to kill anyone without blinking an eye. (sighs) They use magic as well as physical means to kill anyone that's not pleasing them or opposes them or could be a danger to them, like they know something they did, some sin, some crime they did, and then this person might tell someone or their authority. Then they would eliminate that person first. And then it becomes a habit. They will take pleasure in killing. They become a sadistic kind of being. And they know. And they escape the law of karma also. So they can just do anything they want. But I'm warning all of you who are in this demonic, magical category that sooner or later you will be caught. Just like they caught one of you already. And the soul of this person knows that. Because she harms somebody that is holy that is clean and pure and devoted to God. Not I, not I, other people. And you wanted to harm your husband as well. And you want to have an incest relationship with your son, which he did not want. But if he comes to you, you will try to use all kinds of things, drugs or whatever, to have what your lusty desire dictates you, because you're used to winning. I just wanted to protect your husband. I do what I can, because you wanted to kill him. Oh, you can't just kill anybody who you suspect or feel like is against you. It's not like that. There is universal law, you know that. Stop all this, okay? Who knows, I might be able to help you to save you. (sighs) Truly, (laughs) I never thought of your husband as anything but just a very, very good child, even though he's very, very old already. (sighs) I'm not even there, so stop trying to harm him or kill him, or you'll be irredeemable. No one knows about the secret of your four lovers and six children who are not your husband's children. But you watch it. If heaven tells, so you stop all this brutal violence against anyone near you, okay? Including your sons just because they refuse you, refuse your lusty approach. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You demonic magicians kill people, but the law cannot do anything because there's no trace of it. It's easy to use that kind of magic power, but sooner or later, the other high court the other so-called high guardian of the world will find you, and you will never see the sun again. You will never have any existence that you know of. You'll be born forever in darkness, suffering whatever you have done to others, again, again, and again, non-stop. Even if the law in this world does not punish you, 
because of no evidence. The law of the universe will, and you can be assured that it would be very, 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 very heavy. I wanted to rescue you, to also save you, but heavens don't let, all the guardians don't let. I feel very sorry in my heart. I never want anyone to go through this punishment. There is a word called punishing word. These and other guardians, specified guardians, it's just like a special police force or special military unit. They are specialized in looking for these outlawed criminals like you and many others like you. So sooner or later, you know, your fate will be sealed forever in darkness, in a terrible, special hell that no one can even come in to help you. No one will have ever heard of it. No one will ever know where it is. Only you and the punishment that will be dished out measure on you, you know, forever. Oh, just to think about that, my heart shrinks. Oh, I just feel cramping in my body and my blood vessels want to stop even flowing. This is a terrible thing. Oh, dear God, please, please, this world doesn't need to exist this way. Please don't ever let anyone create such a world again, no matter who he she is. Oh, dear humans, there are some entities just like the fallen angels and subordinates and stuff like that. And they just make more and more terrible energies from which other beings will be born. And they will be ruthless, moralless, godless, soulless. Truly, they have no soul. They are soulless. So they do anything without any feeling when hurting others, you know, innocent and vulnerable beings such as humans who are not enlightened, who are not connected with their divine self within themselves. That's how it happened. And to the magician, the black demon magician, that they saw much harm. I don't love your husband. You're wrong. I just feel sorry for the guy. He's my disciple. I have to protect him. It's my duty. My love for him is not the filthy lust that you have. He is an innocent man, faithful to God, devoted to meditation, worked hard all his life and trusts you. He worked hard all his life to take care of you and the six children who are not his children, and he would never know. He took care of them and loved them just like his own children, and he would never know they are not his. Bless his soul, such a man is so near to God. If you want to harm him, God will forever scatter your existence in all directions of the universe. You will never know what it's like to exist. Oh, dear God, such a shameless, remorseless, soulless being like you. Truly, as heaven told me, this, that, that woman is morally unfit, worthless, First, I was taken aback. I did not understand. And then later, all the information came in just because I had to know. I did not want to, but I had to, just because you used this between karma gap to harm people. So the Lord of Karma did not report to me all this time, but you will not get away with all that. And you even want to hurt me you put that wreath of poisonous flowers with invisible poison to kill me this morning. Luckily, my protector told me not to go out of my door, and I didn't. And the flowers were out after a while, after one hour and 55 minutes. 
Killing me won't help you either, because heaven knows it. Then someone else also knows it. But I'm still in my room in case. I'm still in my room, meditating and talking to the humans so that they will be aware of this kind of harm that could befall them at any time. Oh, but they would not know. Oh, dear God, thank God for protecting them. Thank all the angels, all heavens, whoever protects any humans or any beings on this planet. I have been protected many times, knowing or not knowing. Please accept my sincere thanks, Almighty God and all your children and workers who have helped to protect me in this lifetime. All the humans, you should thank God for that. If you escape anyway, without knowing or knowing, you have to thank God Almighty and thank all His workers, the positive side workers in the universe. These are vegan marchers who protest against the animal people, meat industry and the killing of animal people in the laboratories or in the slaughterhouses, as well as protesting against abortion. You should know, they are the workers of the positive system. They are angels in disguise. You must also try to protect them or help them, support them in any way you can. They are not born on the planet just to be human, just to eat and sleep and work. They are angels in disguise. I'm glad they are here with you, with us. But still, the human's karma that still up influences, fabricates, produces, and seduces humans into doing wrong is so enormous. So much, so much that the whole sky could be covered with it. So please repent. Do penance. Do repentance and make peace wherever you can. And pray, 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 pray. Pray for yourself, for your soul to be liberated from all this darkness, from all these horrible worlds that are very near our planet, surrounding the planet, and can engulf the planet. And so many demons are still in that world. Even the king of the biggest group of demons on this planet have changed and you turned. And there is a story behind this U-turn, but I can't tell you today. Maybe I cannot tell you ever, but if I can, I will tell you that story someday, another time. If I still am able to reach you through Supreme Master Television, please watch Supreme Master Television, even if you don't believe me. Just listen to some stories, some parable stories, some true stories, and listen to some good news and some bad news so you can protect yourself from that. We select the news that is vital to you, good or bad. Please try to look, try to see it so that you can be blessed, helped and protected to some degree by the energy of it. I put all my heart, my energy into that. Please listen, please watch. You don't have to follow me. You don't have to be my disciples. If you don't believe me at all, just watch it, okay? And put it next to your bed. If you can't watch it in the daytime, put it next to your head in your bedroom. It will help your consciousness to refrain from badness and will protect you from harm to some degree or to a very high degree. It depends on you, your virtues, your morals, your receptiveness and your merit in this lifetime as well. I'm not saying that for you to believe me or anything. I know it's difficult to convince you after you've been poisoned life after life. I just pray for you and love you. But if you can, just listen to Supreme Master Television. I can help you through that. Please take care. Please pray, pray, pray to God Almighty. Please worship, worship, worship. Praise, praise, praise God Almighty, no one else. Thank you. God loves you. I love you. <laughs>